A lot of you have been asking about this motorcycle hitch set up on the back of the four-wheel camper, so let me give you a closer look. This hitch I bought used for 300 bucks was originally made by motomule.com and I've been kind of reluctant to post something about this because I looked any, everywhere on the internet and I can't find any sign of this company still being in business and producing this motorcycle carrier. There's similar products out there on the market but I've been unable to find the Moto Mule hitch carrier and it's a great carrier. So with the bike on the rack and ready to travel if you pull the handle out of here with the four-wheel camper you can just get the door open just that far but that allows you to get in and out of the camper enough when you're on the road. Now if you just lower the bike a bit you'll be able to get the door open quite a bit more and you can get complete access to your camper and not have to unhitch the bike completely. So to start the lowering process you undo the two locks. Look, get one right here. By the way, this is just a standard four ton um, jack. So if that jack ever blows out you can just get another one at the Harbor Freight or your favorite store. And then lower the bike like that. Now you can open the door up quite a bit. And if you take your bungee cord and hold the door open, you can access the trailer or the camper all you need to without unhitching the bike. Jack the bike back up in position. Just like that and go all the way up until you lock it back into here. With the bike up in the intermediate position, it's a great way to uh, work on the bike out in the field. You can change tires, clean your chain, do all sorts of work on the bike on this rack. Holding the bike in position is primarily through the foot pegs, through these big carriage bolts right here, and then grab the forks right here and stabilize the front end of the bike on the carrier. Peg bolts come loose here and this big um, plastic washer here bites into the foot pegs. The carriage bolts holds it tight there. Setting the bike on the carrier is a piece of cake. You, you can lower the carrier low enough to where you can just roll the bike right over the top of the carrier and begin to jack it up and it picks it up right in place. You don't have to even wrench your back moving the rear end of the bike around. You can just center it up over the carrier and pick it up. And just roll the bike right off, right on and off the carrier, just like that. One other feature of the motor, mo, one other feature of the motor mule carrier is this locking bolt right here, which helps to reduce the rocking back and forth, and lock the motor mule into your standard receiver hitch. Moto Mule hitch carrier. Why are they not making them today? I think there was a patent infringement uh, somewhere along the line. I do hope somebody picks up this patent or picks up this design and keeps going with it because it's a great design. It's kind of heavy, about 50 pounds, but very sturdy, trouble-free design.